Hi, question number three taken from October 2009, A-Level Maths, paper three. The sequence of values given by the iterative formula x sub n plus one is equal to three x sub n over four plus 15 over x to the cube sub n with initial value x sub one is equal to three converges to alpha. Use this iterative formula to find correct to two decimal places um, giving the result of each iteration to four decimal places to find alpha. I mean, yeah, that's it. And then for the second part, we need to state an equation satisfied by alpha and hence find the exact value of alpha. Okay, for the first part of the question, we have x is equal to 3 times 3 over 4 plus 15 times 3 to the cube. Initial value of x is 3 as given in the question. Work this out on your calculator, you're going to end up with 2.805555 and so on. So it's going to be 56. The next value is going to be 3 times 2.8056 divided by 4 plus 15 over 2.8056. 2.8056 to the cube and if you were to work this one out you're going to get 2.7833 something 335 and something now for the next one 3 times 2.7834 remember the result of each iteration has to be uh, to 4 decimal places divided by 2.7834 all of that to the cube and this one is going to give you if you check it out 2.7832 the next one is going to be 3 times 2.7832 over 4 plus 15 divided by 2.7832 to the cube and again that's going to give you now 2.7832 so we have enough iteration there to state that the root alpha is going to be 2.78 to two decimal places and here's your answer for the first part now for the second part we need to state a formula and then find the exact value of <coughs> x all right uh, exact value of alpha all right so we have a formula x is equal to 3x over 4 plus 15 over x cubed so what we can do is x is equal to x cubed times 3 to 3x is 3x power 4 plus 60 divided by 4x to the cube okay so therefore this can come on this side it becomes 4x power 4 ak is equal to 3x power 4 plus 60 so we have then 4x power 4 minus 3x power 4 is x power 4 is equal to 60 so this is the equation and the exact value is going to be then the fourth root of 60 and here we are for the second part of this question taken from as I said before, October 2009, A-Level Maths, Paper 3.